We begin with this developing story. After nearly a decade of negotiations, Korea and Canada have finally reached an agreement on a bilateral free trade pact. Now, the deal was struck during summit talks between President Park Geun-hye and visiting Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper. For more details, let's go live on the line with our presidential office correspondent Choi Yusun. Yusun. Hi, Konyang. President Park Geun-hye and visiting Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper met for summit talks earlier today, which ended just over an hour ago, and the two leaders agreed to ink a bilateral free trade deal. The comprehensive trade pact, for which negotiations were suspended after Korea banned Canadian beef imports in 2008, goes beyond goods and services to include investments, finance, and intellectual property. Canada is Korea's 25th largest trading partner, with trade between Seoul and Ottawa totaling some 10 billion U.S. dollars last year. And over the next 10 years, each side will lift tariffs on nearly 98 percent of goods. For Korean automakers, whose products make up 40 percent of the country's total shipments to Canada, the more than 6 percent tariff barrier will be removed in 24 months. Now, this means Korean companies like Hyundai and Kia, which currently take up 12 percent of the Canadian market, will be able to make further inroads to the North American country. Now, you saw now, as is the case with Korea's free trade deals with uh, many other countries, one of the major concerns here is how the pact will affect the uh, pharma sector. Right, Konyang. In a likely response to Korean farmers' concerns about the impact of the FTA, nearly 20 percent of agricultural produce, or more than 200 products, including rice, will be exempt from the pact. Tariffs on sensitive goods, such as beef and pork, will be partially lifted in 5 to 15 years. The Korean government plans to safeguard industries that may be hurt by the trade deal by drawing up measures to assist them. And with today's agreement, Korea is hoping for better access to a broader spectrum of energy sources, as Canada is a nation rich in natural resources such as oil and natural gas. And on the Canadian side, hopes are high that by signing its first trade deal with an Asian country, Canada is on a path to expanding its trade with the region. Canada is now Korea's 12th FTA partner, and after the deal is signed and gets parliamentary approval from both sides, it's expected to come into effect next year. Also worth mentioning is that President Park and Prime Minister Harper talked about Korea's recent interest in joining the larger 12-member Trans-Pacific Partnership Trade Agreement. Canada is a TPP member, and the two leaders expressed the hope that Korea's TPP membership could create a synergy effect with the Korea-Canada FTA. Konya? All right, Arirang News Presidential Office Correspondent Choi Yusun on the Korea-Canada Free Trade Agreement struck only about an hour ago. Thanks, Yusun, for that.